everyone, welcome to Tuesday Check-In. So this past Sunday we explored Matthew 25, which is a text that is famous for um, talking to us about ways that we can and should show care and concern for our neighbor, and about how when we do that, we are also loving God. And so it specifically talks about feeding the hungry and the thirsty, uh, clothing the naked, inviting the stranger, and visiting the sick and the imprisoned. And what makes this text so have so much depth is that, of course, we can see how important it is to attend to these needs for our neighbor in an external way, but also we can recognize that they can represent or manifest emotional and spiritual needs as well that we can recognize not only in our neighbor but in ourselves. So I thought today we just might take some time to, um, you know, spend some uh, reflection time around each of these needs. We can notice as we do what is rising up in us, uh, what we are being called to do, and how we are being asked to attend to um, a specific need, either in others or ourselves, in either a physical or emotional or spiritual way. So. I'll invite you now to uh, just settle in your seat. Let's take a deep breath in together and out. One more, breathing in. And as we breathe out, to let that ground us wherever we are sitting. So we'll read each section and have a pause for reflection in between. For I was hungry, and you gave me something to eat. Where are you seeing this show up in your life? I was thirsty and you gave me something to drink. Where are you seeing this show up in your life? I was a stranger and you invited me in. I needed clothes, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you looked after me. I was in prison, and you came to visit me. Our gracious God, give us eyes to see these needs at all levels in ourselves and in others, and lead us to attend to them with compassion, with courage, and with wisdom. Amen. So I invite you now to take another deep breath in And as you do so again, let the air expand in your lungs, 
bring you back to awareness of the space that you're in. Welcome back, my friends. And thank you so much for spending these few moments together in contemplation. So I hope that it can provide some important inspiration for your week. And I do hope that you'll be able to join us at church at 10.30 a.m., either in person or online. Take care, everyone.